Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 3rd of 2021. Well, it is titled the holographic principle in a teapot. So what do we see here? Well, what looks like a somewhat random scattering of colors across a two dimensional image here is actually meant to represent what we call the holographic principle. And what the holographic principle states is that a two dimensional panel like this can include the information in a three dimensional room. And that is different ways of being able to encode it. Now you might think and the example is given in the description here that the most information you could hold in a two dimensional image like this would be the number of uh, units on each side 60 horizontal and 50 vertical in this case and the 256 possible colors and that would give you about three quarters of a million bits of information. But the holographic principle says that we can store a lot more information than this within this kind of uh, image. So it's a way that we're trying to better understand things at the very smallest scale. And it actually comes from things like quantum mechanics and looking at the very minimal lengths that we can understand. And that is called the Planck length. And this is the region where quantum mechanics becomes very important and gravity becomes less so. And this information, this is the smallest area and it's this one part of this area can hold one bit of information. So it's something that scientists have been thinking about and considering for several decades now and trying to understand this. And another thing is that it looks at black holes and tries to understand how the information held by a black hole is determined. Now you might think it's determined by the volume which in the back the black hole encloses and that would be the volume of its event horizon the point of no return. But what we're finding from this is that the instead the amount of information held is instead depends on the surface area. So instead of depending on the third power of what we call the radius of the black hole, it depends on the second power of it instead. So it tells us something about the amount of information that a black hole might be able to contain. So trying to be able to understand this is something scientists continue to study. And the holographic principle is something that uh, seems to work in many cases, but is something that has not yet been proven. So that was our picture of the day for October 3rd of 2021. It was titled the holographic principle and a teapot. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be galaxy tales. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.